Virgo, Virgo, let's hop into your reading. Let's see what your breaking news is, okay, Virgo? Let's see what the breaking news is. All right, time to stand up for yourself, okay, Virgo? It's time to stand up for yourself. That's what I got here. All right, Virgo, let's see what planet you're dealing with. Okay, I have Saturn. I don't know why Capricorn um, Aquarius energy keeps coming up here. So you're dealing with Saturn. Um, I have no and I have um, also good. So this could be a good thing about Saturn. Okay, so someone also at your work situation could be um they're not going within they're probably trying to project okay so saturn has it where a person is really affected by a situation but they don't go within to deal with their demons um <clears throat> They go outside, okay? They're, they don't, they're, they turn their judgment outward in a situation. Um, someone is strategizing and trying to doom others, okay? Someone here is strategizing and trying to do, doom others. Um, the good part of Saturn is... The will to succeed okay so someone here is not going within in a situation um, someone here wants to succeed someone here wants to be looked at as disciplined this is the father of the zodiac setting long-term goals and working to to accomplish them okay you're dealing with a side that needs to be respected and taken seriously okay so someone here could probably want you to be respected and you probably want to be respected and taken seriously in a situation but someone here is is the type of person like i'm a judge but i'm a judge outward i'm not gonna take none of this in um They're strategizing. They're thinking a way to doom others, okay? All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with your energy, okay, Virgo? I can do Michael Ancestors. Please come through for Virgo. Yeah. So stand up for yourself. You have go the distance to number 47. You could be seeing 444 or 777. Endurance and strength in it for the long haul, okay? So crossing the finish line All right, you have a lot of endurance and strength You're in it for the long haul, okay? Even if someone here is trying to um, Set you up to fail in a work situation All right, Virgo The person or situation you're dealing with Archangel Michael ancestors come through for Virgo, please. Please come through for Virgo. Please come through for Virgo. Oh, that fell. Regeneration fell on the ground. The person or situation that Virgo is dealing with. Make it plain. Archangel Michael ancestors come through for Virgo. Please come through for Virgo. Yeah. Um, Poise is here. The number 48. So yeah. This person is ready to bring something to light in a situation. You could be seeing 444 or 888. 
So yeah, this person wants to bring something to light in a situation. Like I said, the other side of Saturn is projecting outward. They want to bring something to light in a situation, okay? And I have here at the bottom of the deck, to be fair, okay? This is my Libra card, the number 38 here. So yeah, someone wants to bring something to light. Um, to be fair in a situation. Let's see here. What's going on with Virgo's energy? Archangel Michael. Ancestors, please come through for Virgo. Okay, you have here the Eight of Swords, bad news, a crisis, conflict, or a sickness. You also have here justice. Strongly, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. The Seven of Pentacles, studying on your Pentacles. What you have built, what you have made. All right. And we have the moon card here in the reverse, okay? So the moon card in the reverse, secrets, um, illusions. Okay, something here is coming out. So not knowing where you stand with a person, now all of the secrets and illusions are coming out. The person you're dealing with has the Ace, the ace of Swords here. This is winning a great force when it comes to love. They also have here the Seven of Swords. Lies, betrayal, sabotaging a relationship, okay? So someone here um, is doing everything in their power to bring something to light. But also sabotaging a relationship. A lot of sneaky behaviors with this person. Um, you're going to get justice about this sneaky behavior. They have the King of Wands. This person could be a, a married man. Um, Leo energy. This is the man lying, okay? Want to be honest. Um, if you're married, someone wants to bring something to light or this person could be in a marriage. The Seven of Cups, okay? So this person is all in their head, reflecting on the good times that they had with you also. And you're here. You're bringing out all of the secrets and illusions about a situation. Yeah, you're bringing out all the secrets and illusions about a situation here. And the bottom of the deck, this is a lot of obstacles. A lot of obstacles here with the um, nine of wands in the reverse at the bottom of that I have the king of Pentacles a lot of obstacles in a business situation okay and the ten of Pentacles Wow and a family situation Okay, this could get really deep, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse, okay? Something really wicked and evil is going on around a business situation or a family situation here. A married man, a lot of um exposure, a lot of... um. There's a lot of things going on here, all right? But here, someone is trying their um, hardest... You have go the distance in your 
and you need to stand up for yourself in a situation because you don't want to be in this situation bad news crisis conflict okay and a sickness here and the person you're dealing with here they are winning at all costs and they feel like they're bringing something to light they want you to feel like you they're a great force to be reckoned with okay um a lie always sounds better than the truth okay so someone here is lying in a situation and they're trying to make it feel like like it's the truth about a situation um you're gonna get justice in a situation and this person is sabotaging a relationship with lies and betrayal okay please clarify this energy for virgo please clarify the energy here for virgo the two of pentacles okay so you're juggling a lot you're coming off very beautiful and secure okay but you have to pay attention to what's right in front of you. There could be two different people here that you're juggling. The Eight of Pentacles, okay? You're judging here, okay? You're judging a situation or somebody that's juggling, okay? Or trying to cause you sickness or harm. Uh, a lot of conflicts here. Um, luring um, somebody in you're judging the situation where someone here is using sex as a weapon um, to lure people in um, someone here is a snake and they attract snakes okay and you're judging a situation all right okay so I see what this is the eight of swords with the two of Pentacles so someone here is juggling two different people okay um you could have been juggling two different people and this caused a lot of conflict or trying to um make two different people happy and it caused a lot of conflict okay trying to do a lot you have a lot on your plate um, there's going to be hard to make a cheerful reconnection um, with a snake, okay? You're judging a situation where someone is using sex as a weapon. The Seven of Pentacles. Studying your pentacles with the Knave of um, Wands here, okay? So here... You're studying your pinnacles, okay? A big player here in the game. You could be relocating um, in a situation. Or this could be like where you're studying your pinnacles and you're making a sacrifice here for your money or... For a money situation, or you probably like your job, all right? Um, you probably work a lot here. This could be a money situation, okay? Very heavy money situation, okay? So don't go under for money, okay? Don't do things for money here. All the secrets... Are coming out with the moon in the reverse okay so you're closing out a, um, a cycle here with someone okay someone at work is trying to set you up for failure you're bringing out all of the secrets you're um you have the world card okay so you have the world in your hands in a situation and you're closing out a cycle here by um, exposing the truth. Someone here wants to bring something to light. The Knight of Wands. Okay.
This person could be at a distance with the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Chalices. Oh Lord, the Tower card. The King of Swords. Okay, there's a third party situation here, okay? Um, this could be a same sex relationship here. Or someone is doing something behind your back, okay? Or they feel like you're doing something behind their back. There's a lot of secrets and illusions here in a situation. I also have the moon in the background. So secrets and illusions, someone's doing something behind your back. Um, with the moon in the situation, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Strong Cancer's energy with the moon card. Strong Pisces energy, okay? There's something going on here behind your back. You're closing out a cycle. There's a lot of obstacles here, okay? The person you're dealing with, um, this person is traveling or this person is a player and this person is um, coming out with a lot of um, truth. There's a marriage here and it's a tower. It's going to be a tower moment here. Maybe for a Leo. Okay, there's a tower moment. Fast communication um, about this person. A lot of lies and betrayal. And someone here is straight sabotaging a relationship, okay? You feel like this person is a snake and you're judging a situation. This could be a, a marriage that's going down. You're looking at your pinnacles. Someone here is really having a, um, a tower moment. They're thinking of everything with the king of swords. And they, this person is doing something behind your back okay with the king of sword a lot of um a lot of communication a lot of intellect everything here is being like exposed in a situation and you need to stand up for yourself okay virgo what would this person like to say to virgo please what would this person like to say to virgo Um, a wedding ring, a love union, a wedding, a marriage, soul contract, eternal love, everlasting promise. So this could have been a marriage straight up, okay? A marriage situation. Um, this, this here could have been a contract and there could have been a promise here, okay? With love and business, okay? A wedding here. One more time. What would this person like to say to Virgo? This is supposed to be an everlasting promise. This is someone you're married to. Okay, they feel like you have outdated thinking. Um, this is cassette. You put conditions on love. Replaying. You're replaying events over in your head or something. Okay, there could be a, a contract that they feel like is outdated or the way that you think is outdated in a situation or how you love in a situation. So this might be a divorce. Yeah, I, I have coffin at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what Virgo would like to say. I think you might go come through for Virgo. Dang, I tried to run away. Okay, addictions. Um, you're dealing with someone, you feel like this person is codependent. This person has an exception, obsession, okay? Possession, um, controlling. 
This person is very blocked in their energy. Restraint. Okay, so you're dealing with a, um, someone who does... They could have an addiction, okay? This could be addiction to you. This could be addiction to drugs. Whatever it is, someone here is very codependent. And you feel like this person is codependent and they have an obsession, okay? This person has an addiction. Go the distance, okay? Stand up for yourself, Virgo. Yeah, attraction, flirting, hooking up, um, a lot of temptation here. This is a third party situation, a third party situation, interference, okay, and addictions, okay. So, this could have been a third party situation, someone trying to put you in a third party situation, someone here, um, heavy on drugs or. Um, just a lot of temptation in this person's life, okay? Yeah. And there could be an emotional loss. The number five here, okay? Because of some type of addictions, some type of emotional attachment. This person feels like um, you probably act like their mother or their father um outdated thinking in the situation but for sure there's a lot of emotional loss here and a lie always sound better than the truth here there's someone here at work um trying to set you up for failure okay all right virgo that was your reading bye virgos